Uh, good evening, guys. Good evening. Great to see you. Happy Thursday. Mr. Gavarrete, good evening. Hi, uh, Jorge. Good evening, Olga. Tatiana, good evening. Uh, Wendy, great to see you. How are you guys? Good evening. Hi, Miss. Great to see you. So I hope you rested a little bit yesterday. Did you enjoy your day? Mr. Gavarrete, did you enjoy your day? Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Did you rest a little bit? Olga, did you rest? Did you enjoy? Did you have a chance to go to your family to spend some time with them? I don't know. Did you did you spend some time with your family? Not really. Hi guys, Wendy, enjoy it. So have a good one, have a good dinner. <laughs> okay, I guess like some of you are still having dinner guys. And, uh, Thank and you. so enjoy it guys. So the best for that. Hey, Chris, good evening. Thank you so much for joining as well. Great to see you guys. Hello. Alrighty, so guys, it's really amazing to see you today. Um, so officially, guys, we are finishing uh, week number three, right? So thank you for the attendance. Gracias por acompañarnos siempre, uh, for joining every single class. And guys, um, pues I had to say that ahora sí ya vamos como embajaditas, right? So we are going all the way down because we are just missing two more weeks uh, to finish at uh, this module, right? So um, hopefully it is going to go smooth y podemos, acompañar, podemos tener su asistencia también. So we can count uh, with your attendance every single day. So thank you so much for that, guys. Um, let me see. Okay, there we go. So uh, today, guys, to practice a little bit, we are going to finish unit number two. It has been kind of long, but because the unit uh, is long too, we have like a lot of uh, material, a lot of different uh, things that we have covered in this uh, unit, including all different kind of conditionals, conditional one, conditional two, conditional three, right? Um, we have covered a lot of different vocabulary too for talking about personality, a weakness, a strength. Hello, mm -hmm. Miss. Uh, conditional, I, I don't, um, the difference in conditional one, two, and three, and I, I study, I study uh, the notebook or, but not, clear, not is, um, clear, clear? Clear, it is not clear. Clear, uh, no, no uh, not clear. The difference, also, for example, so, yes, you, you send me, you send me a um, conditional one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, okay, so you don't know how to I'm identify, different. you don't know uh, how yes, to identify yes, the structure. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, okay, but that is just a structure. What about the use? Are you able to identify the use? I de identify, uh, for example, in platform, they say um, one and other part two and other part three. And in the, I know in the not platform. Uh, ah, okay, okay, no worries. So we can check that out. And the thing is that I don't want to get too much into grammar, it's more into use, but, but no problem. We can check it out in a couple of minutes. So we can make the difference between all the different conditionals. That sounds all right. Uh, no problem. So um, I'm, we're going to just like cover part of the topics for today. 
And then we check the part that you mentioned, that is the grammar coverage, no worries. Uh, Marielena, good evening. Uh, Ariela, thank you so much for joining. So Susana, thank you so much for joining too. Good evening, how are you doing guys? Everything all right? Is everything going fine? Yes, teacher, thank you. Good to see you. Good thank to you see you as well. All right, yeah, we were talking with the guys here that this is uh, pretty much the ending mm -hmm. of unit, num unit number three. Hi, Jorge, good evening. So we are just like all the way down, you know, we are pretty much uh, just missing two more units. Well, um, let's say two more weeks and we pretty much are done. So it has been like pretty fast, but but it's really good to see you guys. It's really good to have you. And, uh, and thank you so much uh, for the attendance as well. So guys, uh, to get started today, I have just one topic um, that I want to, you know, to set the mood, to practice a little bit. Let's take a look at the following part right here. And there we go. So this is the debate question we have, right? And it says right here, um, guys, this is just a debate question. Um, it doesn't matter if you agree or you disagree. The idea is just to give an opinion, right? To say something, to try to make your ideas come clear in English. So the question says, what is more important, being good looking or being a smart? So <laughs> what thoughts do you have? What ideas do you have on this topic? What is your opinion, guys? Is it more important to be a smart, like the picture, like super intelligent, super clever, super smart? Or is it more important to be good looking, attractive, handsome, pretty for women, right? Um, so what do you think? Smart or good looking? What would you say? I consider teacher is, is important being one of one of them almost. Okay. Only one. <laughs> I consider it's enough. Uh okay, but but which is more important? So being attractive or being smart? Uh, which beats which? <laughs> I, I consider being smart could be uh, during a long time. And the other one depends, mm -hmm. could be end so early. Uh, okay, but, but if we're like talking that, oh, you are successful, you can get everything, um i don't know this is more useful you know in the terms of a usefulness in society in life in success i don't know uh which do you think is more important for like everybody now um that you can be attractive or that you can be uh, intelligent in your opinion if you had to choose one which is more important and why uh, i chose intelligent Okay, so being a smart, why being a smart? Uh, I don't know. I, <laughs> I, but there must be a reason. I, 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 I consider uh, that make me have the opportunity to do a lot of things. If you are intelligent. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, nice. So being intelligent got, got one. All right, guys, what do you think about this one? Being a smart or being intelligent? Which is more important for you guys? Diana, good evening. Juan Carlos, hello. Thank you for joining. Hi, teacher. Uh, Mario, good evening, guys. Hello, me. How you doing? Uh, so, uh, good evening. Hi, hi, guys. So if you had to take one of these, uh, which would you take? Which do you consider is more important? Uh, I think that being smart is uh, the the best good, uh, the best good looking that we can have. Okay, so being smart is makes you uh, good looking. I guess so. <laughs> okay, why? How so? Uh, I, I think that. Uh, uh being a uh, good looking is uh some the superficial things okay and being smart yeah indeed it is the 
most important than uh, being uh, good looking. Okay, so being smart is more important than being good looking. All right. I guess the the persons are more interesting oh, okay. if they are smart than only good looking. Oh, okay, that's a really good point. So you can be more interesting. Okay, guys, uh, what would you say? Do, do you go for being a smart too? Yes, Wendy, tell us, what's your opinion? In my opinion, depends. Depends for, for what uh, the person. For example, in a, in a job or mm -hmm. in, a, uh, in a job, uh, mm -hmm. Um, 50 50. Aha, <laughs> uh, uh -huh, okay. Why? Smart and good, good look. Uh, good looking? No. Okay, so in a job, yes, yeah, so in a job, both yes. are important. Oh, de depend. Um, in a 10, uh, um, como se dice? How do you say in an office uh, in in front in front of customer? Mm -hmm. In front customer, good presentation and smart. Oh, okay. So, so good, but good important. presentation doesn't mean being mm. attractive, right? Or yes. Mm, the good presentation help. Help. <laughs> okay, so if you are attractive, good presentation helps. Not, not or how? Attractive, but oh, good if you are not okay, if you are not attractive, good <laughs> good presentation <laughs> helps you look attractive. <laughs> okay, that's and, a really and nice point of view. And the pen for my friend or or my <laughs> other thing, oh, for example, a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. so, whatever. Okay. Uh, in my case, it's uh -huh. not important, smart or attractive. Mm -hmm. It's more important feeling. Oh, okay. So it's more important that the feelings. All right. That you can feeling. say it doesn't matter, right? So you can say it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't matter if like, oh, no, no, no relevant, right? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't yeah. matter if the person is good looking or not. What matters to you um, are the feelings of the person. Yeah. Oh, that's so, so inner, you know, <laughs> so philosophical. Guys, what do you think about that? When well, it's a really nice point, you don't have to be attractive, but the good presentation, nice clothing or looking clean so that helps what do you think do i you think mean being smart being I'm, smart I'm, okay yes i'm thinking being smart because um if i am if i'm a, a i'm intelligent person i have a lot of opportunities in uh, of of get that uh that work that my, my dreams work, or mm -hmm. I don't know, my possibilities to travel in other countries and get a, a better job, and I don't know. Uh, so if I want to know, if, if I want to meet someone uh, that is uh, really interest for me, is being smart, because the good looking is important, but I think the, the beauty is not all in this life, because you can, you can put makeup or I don't know. A surgery. But, <laughs> yes. Okay. But if you if you know the person, um, uh, how and do you say nice. while while the while the time is passed, mm, uh, okay. you being you being attractive for mm -hmm. this person. So I think being smart is is better. And you always have to do a topic to talk. Oh, okay. Wow, that sounds amazing. Okay, really nice point of view. Uh, so we can use the expression as time passes by, right? Like when we get older. Oh, very nice. So you can get old, but you still have a topic to talk about. 
Beauty dies, beauty fades. Okay, interesting. Guys, tell us about yeah. it. What do you think? Teacher. We haven't heard of Ming much. Yes, Tati. Uh, hello. Uh, I think is is smart is is important is important than beauty because I think somebody when somebody is smart, uh, that person can reach everyone or everything that that person wants uh, because a smart person have a good conversation has a very good ideas and i think the beauty is, is important too but for me i prefer when somebody is, is smart than beauty oh okay I, I think i needed to change the topic you know being smart or having money <laughs> Okay, then, then we would have a dilemma. <laughs> okay, yes, whoa. Yes. Oh, bueno. <laughs> well, let's change it uh -huh. then. <laughs> okay, boys, what about you boys? So I think we have just heard um so George also um uh, yes, yes, tell me. There are an expression here in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Wallet kill face. What is the expression? <laughs> Wallet kill face. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, really? <laughs> okay, I have Our never heard that expression. Yes, okay, we will get that for tomorrow, you know. <laughs> <laughs> being a smart or having money so which is more important no but there is another one wait uh not all that shines is good not no that is in spanish but in english i've forgotten uh let me just not all the glitters i think hold on it is uh, all that glitter okay but in, in english we use the expression all that glitters is not gold, right? So not todo lo que brilla es oro. That's like mm -hmm. another way um, or another idiom that we use. But I have never heard that one. So while it kills face, it doesn't matter if you have a beautiful face, you know, the, <laughs> that attractive face. We can talk about that tomorrow. It's <laughs> really normal, teacher. Which one? Wallet? Um, the one he said. Wallet yeah. killing the face? Yeah. Uh, but if we're talking about being rich versus being smart, uh, if we're talking about like who gives you or which gives you more opportunities, what would you say? I, I consider there are almost together. Okay, so they yeah. go, well, we can talk about that tomorrow. Thank you so much for the topic. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> because about I think, the, I the think we can have a big debate thing, on that. Teacher. On uh, what? A, a people, uh, a people, uh, puede ser. you can be, people you can, can be, be. you uh -huh. can be smart, okay, and not necessarily a good job, or much money, or pay, pay more money, mm -hmm. and the people is smart, okay, and other people, it, is I know smart, <laughs> but a good job. Oh, okay, oh, no, but they mentioned like wallet, like kind of the wallet, uh, having like having a lot of money. Um, it know. makes you makes you look at a person in a very attractive way. <laughs> so if you have money, you say, oh, that person is attractive. I mean, that, that was I guess the point. Or maybe it's in a really, different attractive it's, it's way. Only, uh, uh, more in a different attractive okay, way. No. Wait, uh, <laughs> wait, let me understand that expression a little better, guys. So that says, uh, what was it? Billetera mata rostro? Something like that? In my case, no teacher. No oh, teacher. No. Imagine no, teacher. if the person is, is a very old man, I know. But that is the idea, right? Like, no, it doesn't matter. You you are know, not, it's can... not for me. Yeah, daddy, no. <laughs> but, but that is the when idea I'm of the expression, go. right? Even even if he has money, cars, and everything, but he's old, I don't think so. Mm -hmm, no. 
Imagine, imagine uh -huh. the person is is a uh, has a lot of money, but I know if <laughs> if it is all I I don't think so. Not attractive. <laughs> Maria Elena, tell us about it. Maria Elena just said something in the chat like sugar mommy, sugar daddy, aviatera matacara. Okay, but what does it exactly refer to? Confirm. What do you mean? Tell us, Maria Elena. <laughs> Uh, to the, to the I guess I guess that means that if the maybe the person has a lot of money, mm -hmm. even if uh, but attractive or not. Yeah, but it doesn't matter if he's old or or. But uh -huh. the thing that the point is that the person is ugly but has a lot of money. Uh, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Uh -huh. For. Okay. That's the meaning of the expression. Okay, okay. Teacher. I hadn't heard that one. Yes. Hi. Teacher. Hey, great to, Hi. great to hear you. How you doing, Emmanuel? Thank you. <laughs> I'm fine. Um, about the debate, uh, I think uh, uh, the, the two uh, qualities or attitude, it depends. Because mm -hmm. I I I know uh, people that is uh, the first option being good looking, but uh, they are also uh, very very smart. Oh and the third part, wow! And the, uh, yes, in the third part. Is I uh, have a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so the, I, there I consider, are. Uh -huh. I consider this. It is a uh, that is a a perfect man or a perfect girl. <laughs> wow! But that yeah. would be like too looking, perfect. Very smart and have a lot of money. Wow! So intelligence, money, yeah. and good looks in yes. one person. Wow! So you're made you know yes <laughs> you get it's the lottery a, a perfect uh -huh. <laughs> wow what a perfect combination but, but i think but it's not common teacher if if you ask me uh, what I, I i think i consider for me mm -hmm. it's a better uh intelligence uh very intelligence yes very smart so uh, intelligence over good looks. It is, is it better to be intelligent than being good looking? Yes, for me, for me is the the uh, because uh, I don't know uh, uh, there are people that is a uh, body body fit or body. Uh, they they are in good shape, so they are okay. in good shape. But mm -hmm. Are not. Uh, uh, smart. <laughs> okay, so, okay, okay. So they have like a good body, they are fitness, right? Uh, but they yes. are not as smart. Okay. Body okay. construction, yes. Mm -hmm. Well built. Okay. Sounds all right. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, I think we definitely need to talk about money tomorrow. <laughs> but, but that sounds amazing. Okay. We had different opinions here. So great, great to hear that. Norma, good evening. Claudia, hello, girls. Uh, Silvia, good evening. Great to see you. Hi, Mary. I see Carlos here too. Anna, good evening, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Already. So um, besides this little debate, we're going to like continue talking about some uh, possibilities and conflicts today. But before doing that, I just have a little bit of pronunciation exercise before moving on. Guys, I'm having a deja vu. Have we completed this exercise before? I don't know why I got the feeling we did it before. No, I don't remember. No. Okay, never mind then. So it's just me. Yeah, I was having the feeling that we completed, but I couldn't find my notes. So take a look at this one. Uh, we're going to just uh, go over some vocabulary here. And uh, most of the words are not new, but it says right here, put the words in, into the correct column. Look at the example first. And we are going to put them according to the pronunciation pattern. So we have column number one, that are the words. 
that have the stress or a stronger pronunciation in the first part. Give me one second. Let me show you how. For example, the first word is this one, and we pronounce it empty. We don't say empty, but we say empty. So it is a stronger in the first part. This is why it is in column number one. Word number two. It, how do you pronounce word number two, guys? Guitars. Mm -hmm. So we say guitar. We don't say guitar, but we say guitar. So the pronunciation goes in the second column. This is why number two or the second uh, space, the second box is a little bit bigger. So this is a pronunciation pattern. Most of the words are only two syllable words. So we pronounce them in two, but we have to decide how do you pronounce them? For example, um, we have here this word. How do you pronounce this one? Do you say control? Or do you say control? What would be the, the pronunciation that we normally use, right? Um, so we have, for example, this one. So you say stomach or stomach, right? So it is just pronunciation patterns. I'll give you some minutes so you can uh, put them into the correct uh, column. If it is column one, column two, depending on the pronunciation. Um, I think that you know most of the words, right? They are not new. So we sure. have empty against, just for him. We did a similar exercise, maybe. Yeah, home. right. That's why but, I, I was having a similar, deja vu. Not, not, not the same. Yeah, I was, I was, I was like, wait, I remember, I remember, but, but I couldn't find it in my notes. So yeah, okay. Um, so it's still, you know, the exercise helps us a lot uh, to identify the pronunciation pattern, especially because some, sometimes uh, we confuse uh, what is the stronger. So the first or the second, do we say routine or do we say routine? Do we say 13 or 13? So this is why, uh, for example, how do you normally say this word? Uh, would you say uh, prefer or would you say prefer? So that is why we have this. So prefer column number one or prefer column number two. Um, or I have heard this word a lot. How do you pronounce it? Do you say event or do you say event? So you have to this, um, decide, you have to identify where you think the word goes, right? So guys, I'll give you three minutes to complete the exercise. We are just going to write them in the column, right? If you think the word goes here, so I'll write it here. Or column two, so you write it in the second column. So three minutes, guys. Uh, guys, quick question. Todos logran ver mi pantalla. Can you all see my screens? Yes. yes no. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the confirmation. Yeah, I, I saw that somebody put it. All right.
one more minute, guys. Are you ready, guys, or do you need more time? I'm ready, teacher. Okay, guys, uh, are you ready? Are the rest of you ready? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> okay, let's do it together. That's totally fine. Maybe. So. Um, first, uh, let's go ahead and let's repeat the words. Oh, or let me let me go. Let me read them, right? And then you help me with the columns. So we have. Let me just erase these two. Okay. So we have. Uh, okay. So we have empty guitars against alarm, argue, bathroom, control, crowded, event, improve. Retired, jumper, lawyer, lovely, payment, prefer, prevent, protect, routine, scissors, stomach, towels, wedding, without. So um, help me if, it, if you have them in column one or column two. Um, against, where do you have against? Second. Okay. You. Yeah, right, number two. Alarm? Two. Mm -hmm. Number two as well. Argue. One. Yes, that it goes in one. number one. Bathroom. One. Two. Um, mm, one. How, how do you pronounce the word? Bathroom. Which is a stronger? For bathroom. Me, bathroom. One. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is number one. Exactly. Okay. So that would be bathroom. Uh, we don't say bathroom. So bathroom. <clears throat> okay, next one. Next one, I have to be super honest with you. The next word can have two pronunciations. Um, if we are talking about objects, you can say uh, control. For example, the remote. Uh, um, yeah, do you have the, uh, the control of something? But if we are talking about the verb, you pronounce it as control. I need the, to control. I need the control, right? So this can have two pronunciations, but the most common is control. Right, not control, but control. Uh, next one, where do you have crowded? Column one, column two. One. Mm -hmm. one. Crowded. One. Okay, next one, where do you have the next word? One. Two. Ah, how do we pronounce it? Event. 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 So column number two, exactly, event. Mm -hmm. So I had an event, event, all right? Next one, how do you pronounce this one? Two. Improve. improve. Number two, improve, very good. Next one? Two. Retire. Number Retire. two as well, retire, yes. Next one? Jumper. Jumper. Mm -hmm. So that's a jumper. Okay. One. So number one, exactly. Two. Next one? Number one. Lawyer. One lovely. Number one, two. So lawyer. Mm -hmm. one. Lovely. lovely. Number one. Number one lovely. as well. Lovely. Okay, very nice. Next one. One. Pavement. Pavement. Uh-huh. So number one. Uh, why number one? Because if I pronounce it super strong the second, I would say payment. But I don't pronounce it that way. I pronounce it pavement. Mm -hmm. So pavement. 
Next one. Oh, next one is super tricky. What do you two. have in here? Two. two. Prefer. What okay. do you prefer? Oh, I prefer, right? So prefer. Yeah. Super strong. Okay, next one. Two. Number two. Do. Prevent. Two. Okay. Two. Prevent as well. Very nice. Next one. One. Okay. one two. Protect. Protect, protect or protect? Two. Protect. Number, number, two. number two, exactly. So, column number two. Next one is routine. One or two? Two. two. Number two, because we have routine. Mm -hmm. So, number two, routine. Next one, where would you put it? Column one, column two? One. one. Yeah, number one, C. Source. Otherwise, I have to say C source, right? But now C source. Okay. Next one. Stomach. Mm -hmm. Stomach. One or two. One. Oh, okay. Let's pronounce it. Let's pronounce it. Si por okay. el inicio, I say stomach. stomach. If I would say it at the end, column two, stomach. 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 Number one. one. Exactly. So column number one. Stop, wow. Mac. Mm -hmm. Next one. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Oh, towels one. or number towels? Towels. Number one. One. Towels. Okay. Oh, Next word. Wedding or wedding? Wedding. wedding. Number wedding. one. Wedding. Okay. And the next one, I don't know how to pronounce it the other way. So, without or without? Without. 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 Column number two, without, exactly, without. not without, but without. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. So let's take a look at these expressions we have right here. Tatiana, please help me with number one. Uh, routine event. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to the left. Oh, okay. This one right here. Okay, a routine routine event. Yes, routine event. Because we already checked the, the word. This one right here se pronuncia event or event. ¿Cuál de las dos? Event. Event, very good. So lo pusimos en la columna dos. So event. All right, very nice. Uh, Manuel, please, number eight. Column towels. Very nice. There we go. Nelson, number three. Uh, number two. I'm sorry, the numbers are all crooked, all mi mixed up. So, Nelson, number two, please. Number uh, two, this one, the one that says number two. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. puntero, do you see? This one on the left, a su izquierda, on the left. Mm, no. Mm, do you see my screen? Logra ver mi pantalla. Do you see my screen? Sí, su pantalla sí la veo. Ah, vaya, permítame entonces. Let me, okay, now? No. A su izquierda, on your, on your left. Ve lo que subrayé. Do you see what I underlined? Oh, sí la veo, oh, sí veo. Ah, vaya, perfect. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. ¿Dónde estaba el pan? Espérame, pero vi que pasó un poco como un borrador, luego lo quito. No, 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 lo que está subrayado here. What is underlined here? Subrayado. Yes, this one. MP, uh, el que dice number two. Uh, ah, ok, haga su pantalla más pequeña, Nelson. Creo que está en la computadora. Ah, no, no, es, es, mi celular es, tiene razón. Ah, yes, creería, ajá, uh -huh, sí. I think lo había hecho más grande. No, no worries, no worries, it's fine. Ok, this one. Sí. Empathy, stomach. Mm -hmm. Ok, repito, with me. Empty. Empty. Stomach. Stomach. Yes, ok, very nice. So empty stomach. All right, thank you so much. Ariela, please, number nine. Help me with nine. Let's see, number nine, crowded payment. Very nice, a crowded payment. Wendy, please, number three. I'm sorry about the numbers. Um, the one that says number three. Oh, si está en el teléfono, you are in your phone, solo haga lo más pequeño. 
en a su izquierda, on your left, va a haber otras expresiones. You will see more expressions. Creería que por eso es que no lo logran ver. Probablemente lo habían maximizado. No worries. Again, no. Uh, oh, no. no, no. With the, without control. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more time. Uh, so, esta palabra, ¿dónde la escribió? Column one, en la columna uno, o en la columna dos. Column with one or column two. Ajá. Uh -huh. Column y esta... two. Okay. So, can you read it? Puede leerla nuevamente. Can you read it one more time? Without control. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. So, without. 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 Exactly. All right. Thank you so much. Um, so, Jorge, I'll go with you. Number 10. Oh, I like that word. So, number 10, please. Argue against. Mm -hmm. Argue against. Very nice. Thank you so much. Um, Susana, please help. Oh, Susana, uh, are you with us? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, nice. Hi. <laughs> okay, I thought you were working. All right, number 11, please help us with 11. Uh, lovely wedding. Mm -hmm. So, lovely wedding. Thank you so much. Norma, yeah. please help us with number 12. And prefer guitar. Yes, exactly. Prefer guitars. Thank you so much. Uh, Olga, are you with us? Yes, teacher. All right, nice. Help us with number seven, please. Prevent alarm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, so, Diana, are you with us? I guess she's going to yes, teacher, yes. Uh -oh, okay, no worries. But That's totally fine. No yeah. worries, miss. Thank you. Thank you for being here. That's all right. Okay, guys, very good. So um, just remember that this helps a lot. So if you're not sure what is the correct pronunciation, I totally recommend you to divide it, you know, and maybe. So what is, which goes which, right? All right. Now, before going into the next activity, I have a little description here. I have some vocabulary and we are going to be reading a little text. So we have some expressions like relax, trips, dare, regret, pastime, earlier, car, trouble, a thermometer, safety, climb, book, dance, and crack. So um, is any of these words kind of new for you? Not right. Do you see any new word? Thermometer teacher. Uh, okay, a thermometer. Uh, so to check the temperature. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, maybe the, the meaning of there. Ah, okay, okay. So there. There. Okay. Is there any other word that is kind of new for you? We already checked regrets, so I think we got it. Do you see any other word? That is new for you guys? No. No, guys, you're a pro. <laughs> okay, so what is the meaning of there? What do you think? What do you think is there? Does anybody I, know? To be brave? Yes. Uh, yeah, nice, exactly. Repeat. Uh, yeah, right. exactly. So brave is oh, there is to when you try something new, right? When you risk, you take risk and you say, ah, whatever, I'm going to give it a try. So you take risk, you are super brave and you try new things. Um, so for example, um, I am a kind of, I like taking risks, but I don't dare, I, I don't dare to eat um, snake. So I can eat almost anything, you know, I can eat, I don't know, um, 
grasshoppers, I can eat like some squirrel or something, but I don't dare to eat the snake. So that is the only thing I don't dare. Guys, is there anything that you don't dare to eat or that you dare to eat? Anything that you I say, don't. oh, whatever, I'll, I'll do it. So do you dare to eat anything? Frog? Have you ever eaten frog legs? Yes. Are they good? No. <laughs> no? Snake? Has I anybody eaten so. a snake? Yes. Snake? Seriously? Yes. Uh, but uh, what is the flavor? What does it taste like? It's like a fish. Okay. Is it good? No, I, I didn't like it. Okay. But did you know that it was snake? Yes, I think uh, it's for that reason. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you feel it a little bit sticky? Was it like, like a sticky, mm -hmm. like pegajoso? Yes. Yes, like, I think it's the, it's the kind of, of their prepare. I don't know if if they have a different mix to prepare that, but but I didn't no like. Idea. Was it fried? Was it roasted or grilled? Mm -hmm. Yes, it was grilled, but I don't know if 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 exists another ways. <laughs> I have no idea. But imagine like to see pieces of a snake in a soup or something. I'm like, Ugh. I don't mm -hmm. dare. That's the only thing that I don't dare uh, to, to eat, you know, to eat a snake. Mm -hmm. So guys, that is exactly dare. Is there anything that you don't dare to do or that you dare to do? Mm. I don't dare to jump from the uh... Um, an airplane? Uh, right. An airplane. I want to do that. <laughs> okay, I really want to do it. Okay, so you don't dare to jump. Uh, that's called skydiving. So you don't dare to go skydiving? No. Okay, okay, to go skydiving. Even if I reach, I don't dare. Even if you were rich, really? No. The, from a beach. Ah, from a beach, from a beach. Beach. Puente. Oh, a bridge. 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 I was thinking about a beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you mean like bungee jumping? So you don't dare to do yes. bungee jumping? Oh, okay. But it, yeah, because skydiving is super high. Guys, what is something that you dare to do or you don't dare to do? I dare to do that. What about the rest? What's something that you don't um, dare or don't dare to do? Um, be in a bar. In a bar? Um, maybe. I don't know. I mean, in the sea, in an open ocean. Like swimming in the open ocean? No, I mean, maybe on the cruiser. Mm. Okay. Okay, in a cruise. But you dare or you don't dare? I don't dare. You don't dare? No. What? Okay, are I you like... You dare to the water. To the open but have, have you ever ridden on a boat or in a yes. kayak? Yes, in Guatemala. And you didn't like it? No. Okay. No. Okay, Did interesting. You if that thing will sink. I don't know. Okay. No, 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 but, but, no, but don't worry. <laughs> you can wear a vest. Teacher. So normally they give you a life jacket. <laughs> Just Teacher, Mr. Palma. Uh, I don't dare to 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 swim in okay. the ocean open. Oh, okay. Only okay. One, uh, once in a lifetime <laughs> I have the opportunity. I mean, it's a scary, but what about with a life jacket, with a life vest? Not, not without, yes. Not even with a jacket? No, uh, it's not necessary. Uh, but uh, one day I, 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 have the, I have the opportunity. Uh, in Did you have the, it in the past? Uh, for uh, firstly, uh, we have uh, 
we got a, a boat, a little okay. boat. But in 10, uh, uh, to 2,000 meters, uh, what do you say? Into Adentro? the water. In the water. Yes, in uh -huh. the water. Thousand. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, we, we jump no, in no. the in the ocean. It's a oh. it's a funny experience, teacher. I okay. recommend. No life vest. <laughs> yes. No life yes. jacket. Like... No, no, without without a uh, jacket. Uh, Nothing anything. on. Anything. Only oh. swimming. <laughs> mm, no, well, but. Okay, but but maybe you can swim very well. I have swum yes. in Ilopango's lake, you know. I have yes. swum from the shore, from La Orilla, from the shore. Yes. Uh, to, to Isla del Amor, creo que se llama, to the island that is right there. No, guys, but I don't recommend that. <laughs> but I have a life vest, so I was not alone, you know, so I had the vest, but... But that's mm -hmm. very well. So, guys, that yeah. is the meaning of there, right? So, we had yeah. this expression that is atreverse, like to wait, what is wrong with this? Okay, that is like be brave, to risk a little bit. And that's the one. Now, um, I want to show you uh, the next, wait a second, what is going on? Okay, wait a second. Now, I want you to take a look at this following part. Because we have a little text about um, the opportunities that we sometimes miss. So I have a little description here of this person I really love. And this one says, if I could live my life all over. Guys, if you had the opportunity to live your life all over again, like from being a baby to growing up, would you do the same? Or would you do uh, things differently? So this person is talking about that. It's talking about the opportunities he missed or she missed and the changes that he would do in his life. So um, help me read it, guys. So Norma, please, can you help me read with uh, the blue box? If I could live my life all over again. Okay. If I could live my life all over if I had to live my life all over again, I dare make more mistakes next time. I will relax. I will limber up. I will be sillier than I have been this trip. I will take few, fewer things seriously. I will take more chances. All right, thank you so much. Krista, please help us with the, um, I don't know, yellowish? The yellow, orange? yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I will take more trips. I will climb more mountains, swim more rivers. I will eat more ice cream and fewer beans. I will perhaps have more actual troubles, but I will have fewer imaginary ones. Imaginary right. ones. Thank you so much. Uh, Claudia, please help us with the green one. I think Claudia is not here. Maria Elena, are you here? Yes, I'm here. All right, thank you so much. Help us, please. Help us with the green one, Mario. Let me, let me, let me, let me, the green one. Yes, please. You see, a lot of people who live suddenly and suddenly for, suddenly or after hour, day after day. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have moments. And if I have to do uh, again, I have more of them. In fact, I try to have nothing else. Just moment after moment, another. Instead of living so many years, I have of each day. All right, thank you so much. And uh, let's go with the, the white one. So let me see who hasn't helped us read much. Uh, Sylvia, are you with us? I haven't heard your voice. 
No, I don't know. Are you here? Hi. Hi, Sylvia. Help us read. Uh, help us read this one, please. The white one. The white uh, paragraph. What? Excuse me, teacher. What paragraph? Uh, this one. The white one. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I've been. Okay, I've been one of those persons who never goes anywhere without a thermometer. Um, thermometer? Thermometer? Thermometer. A hot weather bottle, a raincoat, and a parachute. If I had to do it, over again, I will travel lighter than I have. Mm -hmm. If I, I have. had mm -hmm. to live my life over, I will start barefoot, barefoot. Mm -hmm. barefoot early, earlier in the spring and stay that way later in autumn. autumn. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And the last part says, I will go to more dances, I will write more merry-go-rounds, and I will pick more daisies. So this person, guys, is talking about what he or she would have done like in the past, right? What kind of changes uh, this person would have included. Um, previously, we were talking about uh, all these changes. We were talking about all these conditionals. So what changed? Uh, sorry. So, what changes would you include in your life? What changes would you make if you had to start all over again? So, imagine, guys, uh, we're talking about or we are answering this question super quick, and uh, we are talking about regrets in our lives, right? So, it says, if I could live my life all over again, guys, what would you do, right? I just want to call your attention over this. Uh, so we have I apostrophe D. Remember that that is I would, right? I would dare, I would do, I would go. So we're talking about um, some activities here. Guys, I'll give you three minutes. Um, you can read some examples here about the changes that you would do in your life. But pretty much the question is, um, or the um, beginning says if, I had to live my life all over again. So you can use a wood in the second sentence. You can use could in the second to talk about some of the things that you would like, right? Um, it is not necessary to use would have because uh, we are just talking about some possibilities. So you can pretty much use just the verb. Like here, I would take more trips, I would go to more dances, I would write more merry-go-rounds, I would dare to do this. So guys, what are some of the regrets that you have until this very moment? The person here is like super philosophical, right? Oh, I would climb more mountains. I would swing more rivers. But you can be like even more specific about the things that you would do differently. So in my case, for example, I, I don't know if I had to live my life all over again, I would uh, accept the scholarship when um, I missed the opportunity to study in another country. So I would take um, the scholarship that I got offered. So the scholarship um, I got offered or the I don't know, maybe El Pais, I would leave the country when I'm young. So I would, what would you do guys? What changes would you do in your life? All right. So I'll give you like two or three minutes so you can come up with some ideas and later we share them.
Hello. Hi, Susana. Sorry, teacher, is it raining? <laughs> oh, is it raining in your house? <laughs> Yeah, but like sure. like uh just like a breeze or like storms no it's long suave suave ah okay so just mm -hmm. like a drizzle okay so just like but a it's a drizzle. i close it <laughs> in the in the in the garden <laughs> oh you're taking the clothes in. <laughs> yes. Okay, no worries. I get that. Oh, but, but where do you live, Susana? In Mexicanos. It's raining there. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, right? It's supposed to start raining uh, like in some days, but hopefully it is just a breeze. So, um, Susana, we are just working in some... You can read the poem. Uh, I'm going to just move it. You can read the poem. The poem is about regrets that we have. Things that you say, oh, um, you know, um, opportunities we didn't take, probably. So we are going to take the poem or the writing as an example. And we are going to talk about this one. If I had to live my life all over again. So what opportunities uh, would you take? If you had a chance to start over, what would you do? What is something that you wouldn't do, you know? So we can just, you know, make up a couple of things. Invent them, right? So make them up. But no worries, Susana, go ahead and, and take your clothes in if you have more in the garden. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, teacher. <laughs> You're fine. One more minute, guys.
Well, guys, are you ready or do you need more time? More time, teacher, please. Okay, sure, no problem. Take your time. It doesn't have to be long. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a poem like this super, super long, right? No, not necessarily. But all okay. right. My oh. inspiration. <laughs> oh, you are inspired right now. <laughs> Please go ahead, no problem. Okay, I'll give you some more minutes. Teacher, <laughs> how many regrets I have to put? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm noticing, you know, like, oh my God. <laughs> I, I I don't have too many. <laughs> you don't have too many. No, I guess, I mean, I regret it's not because something that you did. Most yeah, of the yeah. times, like this little description, is because of the things we didn't do, you know? So you're like, oh, I wish I could have traveled to other countries. Um, So it's about the things that we missed, right? So mm -hmm. so it's, it's all right. I'll give you some minutes. And later you share with with us some ideas. Um, I don't, I don't, I think I missed this word. Uh, oh, right here. So if you take a look, the person says, uh, if I had, if I could like live my life all over again, I would have started barefoot earlier in the spring and I stayed that way later in autumn. So I would have stayed barefoot. Barefoot means with no shoes on, right? Like when you go to the beach and you forget your sandals, you forget your flip flops. So you go barefoot or in your house, if you don't have flip-flops, you uh, walk barefoot. So barefoot is that, right? So no sandals on, no shoes on. So I'll give you some more minutes, guys. No worries, get inspired, take all your, the inspiration you need and just tell us about it.
one more minute, guys, and we start sharing. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and let's share what are, whatever regret you want to share <laughs> about the things you have done, the things you haven't done yet, you know. Um, so let me just, um, so because the idea is to listen to everybody's opinions, ideas, paragraph, wheels, I don't know um, how much you have written, how much you got to share. So let's go ahead, let's um, get into the groups um, and uh, listen carefully to your classmates, guys. So we're gonna have some minutes. <clears throat> oh, I can share my voice, interesting. Okay, guys, and let's go ahead to the groups. So join it and share it. Join it, guys, let's go ahead. Join in, join in. Go ahead. Oh, let's go, guys. Let's go, Nelson, Sylvia, Susana. If you finish, let's go and join them. And so, Guadalupe, Norma, let's go and join them.
Hello. Hello, hello, guys. Thank you for coming back. So, uh, talking about your regrets, I heard a couple of really nice, interesting stories about uh, the things that you could have done differently. So, does anybody want to share like what you wrote or what you have or what you shared? Do you feel like sharing with the whole class, guys? So, if you had the opportunity to uh, live your life all over again, what would you do? What are some things that would change? In my uh, so, case, teacher? Yeah, yes, Jorge. I, I Did you get philosophical too or not much? <laughs> not, not much, but if okay. I had to live my life all over again, I will change something. Uh, I may, I take some risk. Oh, like, you would take some risk, for example? Risk, like uh, practicing extreme sports. Ah, okay. Well, like, but you said that you don't like bungee jumping or skydiving. Yes, that is the, the reason. Oh, I so you like you like to try extreme sports? Yes, like uh, swimming in the ocean and jump mm -hmm. from a plane. Okay, but, but you can do it. I actually I don't like that. Okay, this is my regret. The, the but but one, what is the I, regret I wish, that you don't? My regret is don't take the risk. But because you are afraid or because you simply don't like it? Uh, I'm, I'm not afraid of the highest, but uh -huh. I don't like to jump on from a plane. Okay, why not? <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, the worst thing happen is that you can just the, the vomit. The to that, to, 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 to die, die is, is bigger. No, I guess it's more dangerous to drive a car or to ride a motorcycle in El Salvador. But you made a point, you made a point. It's something that very dangerous. So, okay, that, that's right. So you would and, like to try extreme sports. Mm -hmm. and, do those, and do other things that, act, that actually I don't practice in. Mm -hmm. For like, example? Like dancing maybe or... You don't like to do dancing? Uh, normally not. <gasps> Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. That sounds all right. Okay. So you would like to try new things like going dancing, extreme sports. Okay. Interesting. Yes, Tatiana, you said that you, you have thousands of regrets. So <laughs> <laughs> what are some of your regrets? Uh, well, I think if I have to live my love my life all over again, um I will finish my English classes before <laughs> and I will work as a flying attendant, but I was sharing with my my team. Uh, I'm afraid to the heights, heights, and I don't know <laughs> how how to how to overcome it. Yes, because if I have oh. if I have to fly, and I can to be in an airplane, <laughs> that was very very difficult but when you said you're afraid of heights uh, because a height can be like a building like to be on top of a building or are or have you ever been an, in an airplane uh, no because i am afraid, because you're afraid. But, yes when i when i was uh, in Roatan, uh, we were we we drive to Roatan because i couldn't take a, an airplane <laughs> so you took a ferry uh, yes by the ferry and but i but i never ha, i i have never been in an airplane teach so maybe you can try <laughs> i mean i mean just being inside and and you can make sure that you're afraid of heights because i guess you wouldn't feel you wouldn't see 
I, I don't know how to say that, or I don't know even what I want to say. <laughs> the point is that probably, what are you afraid of? Just when you see like, like everything is yes. super small or? or I, I don't know. I, I feel like, uh, how do you say Maria? And... Dizzy. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. But when but, I when I say close to the to maybe the the H. Yes, or or a or a risk and mm -hmm. I I I feel dizzy, but I don't know if if the same in an airplane. Actually, mm -hmm. I uh -huh, because it's close, so maybe you can give it a try. So the H would be like the orilla, right? So probably when ah, you're closer okay. to the H of a building. Oh, very interesting. But just a question, Tatiana. Um, so you're afraid of uh, uh, an air heli helicopter airplane here? But in the ferry, weren't you afraid of the ferry? Because I think uh, that no. is more dangerous. No. <laughs> yeah, I know, but that was... That was okay. Yeah. Yes, but I think was for me was easy to 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 travel by a ferry than a, than an airplane. I don't I don't know, but I couldn't take an airplane. <laughs> oh, okay, really interesting. Okay, so that would but, be kind of the things that you would like to try. Yes, but when you are in a, a ferry, let me tell you, uh, you feel like a DC too because everybody was vomiting. Yes. <laughs> but was the water peaceful? Was the was the ocean kind of uh, uh, jump jump in the jump in the sea is oh. so that was very mm, like so a, there were some waves. Yes. Oh, that's horrible. That's really horrible. Yes. It, it was very disgusting because everybody was vomiting and I was <laughs> <laughs> I, know the, I know the feeling. It fly direct, direct fly to Ruatang. Yes, I, I went this, when this plane to my business here. Yes, <laughs> not very, not nothing. Only direct flight. Forty-five minutes in Iceland. And how Please. much? Yes. How much, Wendy? So she can sell the food. Uh, the price. Six, six, six hundred? Six hundred just the flight. Oh. No, I think flight, that includes everything. Flight. Oh. Hotel, flight, everything? Flight, hotel, hotel flight, translate. All, all inclusive? And the food, all food. Yeah, all, all inclusive. inclusive. Oh, what? Henry Morgan yeah. Hotel. <laughs> yes, Henry Morgan. Six hundred. <laughs> so no, uh -huh. I tell. Huh? I tell. When this terrible, she yeah, already had an opportunity to sell here. <laughs> okay, nice. Well, six hundred dollars. All right. Sounds like a really good uh, bargain. Because normally, um. Yeah, but, but it's faster. I think that's the point. Okay. okay, amazing. All right, guys. Anybody else who wants to tell us about the regrets, about all the things you wrote? So, yes. Yes, okay. Mr. Palma? Uh, right in my, in my opinion, uh, if I had to live my life, uh, I would all over again. Okay. Uh, all uh -huh. uh, I will take advantage year okay. after year. Uh, yeah. Firstly, studying a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, I could get more opportunities for sure in the rest of my life. And okay. the same the same point uh, that that George I I I will take more risk. You will take more risk? Yes, yeah, I will take. Okay, for example, what kind of risk? Risk, uh, risk uh, for example, in to have uh, a more experience in, uh, I, uh, right, uh, I, I like, I like a lot, uh, 
the ocean. Ah, okay. The, uh, the ocean and uh, I I like and it's my dream to because I I I I have many opportunities to to uh, to visit the the ocean and okay and I don't know uh, to sail navigar to sail yes yeah, yeah, this is a uh, but I never I never uh, uh, I never have been uh, in the uh, for example dive ah okay so you would like to dive in the ocean oh, yes I never oh okay oh very interesting but you can do it yes I mean, uh -huh. <laughs> in El Salvador you have the opportunity to do that yes um, and but, but, but not in the ocean but not in the ocean you also uh, no uh, yes lakes i places. think yes uh-huh and the yeah. reef the area where you yes. see some reef too no yes. but there are some courses it is called open dive course it okay. is like 300 dollars because i wanted to do that you know um yes. so i investigated okay. <laughs> and it is like 300 dollars i believe to oh, be a diver okay. uh-huh and 500 dollars to be um because what jorge mentioned like skydiving okay you become an athlete because in el salvador there is um uh like um like an organization like okay. that is supported by indus that is called federación de paracaidismo so but it's mm -hmm. expensive Yes, I, it is I, super I expensive. Imagine. So the certification is like five hundred thousand dollars, something like that. Uh -huh. it was kind yes. of expensive, but but it was like oh, I want to do that. You know? <laughs> okay. the thing, just the thing, the thing I I never I never you wouldn't uh, do you would never do uh, no I I I never will do. Mm -hmm. It's a <laughs> uh, to what do you say? Saltar de un avión en paracaídas. Skydive. Skydive. Come on, I guys. <laughs> okay, so skydiving. Yes. So you're afraid of heights. Okay, skydiving. Sky yes, I'm afraid of heights. Okay, so you would take risks, but not a kind of risk. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, interesting. Guys, what about the rest of you? So, Norma, what would you change? Mario, what would you change, guys? What's something that you like to, I don't know, have it different? Krista, what are the regrets? <laughs> I probably, I'll do the same things, but uh, I only try to put a special effort in learning a different language. Ah, and try okay. to and try to complete my university degree that's the only ah, thing before. but yeah if i could uh live my life mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. probably i'll do all the same things but oh. only try to put the special efforts in in study a uh, different language that's it okay but, but when you say like complete your university do you mean like in your earlier um yeah i, I mean when you were I, young or i don't know uh i mean because, completed when when i go I, I mean when i was uh younger because i understand you're at the university right yeah yeah now which I'm, which is uh, amazing but i mean when i was younger because uh i think that uh I could have uh, different opportunities. Oh, okay. I, I guess, I guess so, but Definitely. you never know it. Yes, exactly. You never know what the what the future brings upon you. Um, but Mario, I mean, I'm asking if you were younger or earlier because you look young. So um, that, that was why, you know, I was like, well, but he looks very young. <laughs> so... <laughs> So you wish you had done it um, a couple of years ago? Yeah, actually, yes. Mm, okay, when you say languages, uh, is there any other language that you're into learning or that you like to learn? Yeah, uh, actually, I, I was in, 
and I, I have received some French lessons. Ah, okay, so French. Uh, because my job, I also like the, the Greek. Mandarin? Oh, Greek. And not okay. the Mandarin, uh, uh, but, but the Greek, I, I, I like the Greek. And maybe uh, uh, German or something like that, but mm -hmm. that's some of the uh, maybe language that I, I, I would like to uh, to learn or, or learn before. Okay, very interesting. So you would do almost everything, but just finish your career earlier. Really interesting. Okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? Is there anything that you would have changed? Interesting because everybody's like, okay, just changes. Guys, the first thing that I would have included here is, okay, I would have moved to another country a long time ago, you know? <laughs> so do you like El Salvador? Do you like the country? Uh, would you have moved to a different country? Would you continue living here? Uh, so Norma, what are the, the changes that you think uh, would have happened in your life? If I had to live my life again, I would like to have studied medicine, maybe. Oh, wow. What, what did you study? Um, uh, medicine, inter no, say interna, medicine interna? Yes, like, that's medicine. No, but I mean, uh, uh, here, now, what did, did you study? You're not uh, an accountant, right? No, I finished a business administrator. Ah, okay. But you wish you had studied another, medicine. Another, another career. Oh, okay. Something related to medicine? Yeah. Or would you like to be a doctor? A doctor. Oh, wow. Super different from business administration. <laughs> Very different. Wow. But my mom is uh, has diabetes. And and diabetes. You no. Know, yeah, but then I know what to, to do. Oh, yes. So, so how to treat her better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Really interesting, actually. Super, super interesting. Okay. So, some medicine. Wow. Like a really long career. Okay. Anything, yeah, anything else? Any other change that you would have made? No more changes, no more regrets. <laughs> Guys, I think that if, if I had to start all over, I don't know, I would study to become a law, probably. I would study laws, you know. I have no idea why, but now I want to study law. So it's super, super crazy. But everybody has like different kind of regrets, right? I, I'm like super, you know, um, I don't know, like sort of price with medicine, which is something super different. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for the, uh, sharing that part with us. I have a listening exercise, but we're going to do it tomorrow because the exercise is kind of long. But I have a couple of uh, statements for the, us to discuss tomorrow. Uh, I want you to take a look at this part. There are uh, five different statements about possibilities. What would you do? Um, it says here, I would do it differently if, and number one says, for example, what I would do if I were the president of the country. So uh, number two says, what I would do if I could go back in any part of history. Three says, what I would ask for if I had three wishes. Number four, what I would do if I could become invisible. And number five, what powers I would have if I were a superhero. So guys, select one question, please, for tomorrow. Select one of the five statements we have here. And for one minute, guys, tell us about the changes that you would have made if this is, if how different it would be, right? If this were uh, part of the possibilities. So I don't know, if I had been the president of El Salvador, I would have made a lot of changes, probably good, probably bad. You never know, right? Only history can tell. So you can choose a couple of them, uh, select one, one of these statements and tell us uh, 
about it tomorrow, right? Uh, guys, I just want to take a couple of minutes to go over the platform because I remember some of you were having some difficulties. Yes, Jorge, tell me. Could you please take a shot of the, the screen and send to the uh, WhatsApp group? Absolutely. Because I, because I can't right now. Absolutely. I'll share that in a minute. No problem. Um, okay. okay, give me one second. Nice. Just a sec. Okay, guys. So I'm going to share that. Okay, guys. So um, antes, you know, like finishing this up, a uh, question, okay. guys. Con la plataforma, ¿cómo les está yendo? Uh, did you complete it? ¿Sí encontraron las respuestas? Did you find them? Or is todavía les sigue dando el problema es el ejercicio case, you told me. In my case, uh, no, no. Uh, Uh, what you tried sentence. didn't work one sentence only one sentence in in uh, an exercise uh to i share i share in in, in whatsapp okay yes please okay i uh, in my case teacher almost all the answer wasn't uh, they were incorrect. Wrong, incorrect. Okay. Okay. But but when I copy and paste the apostrophe, it worked. It works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because of the apostrophe. So, uh, but um, at the end, were you able to solve it? Did you get them correct? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. So it was only that one. Oh, okay. Thank you, Maria. Thank you for sharing that. Um. Okay, guys, uh, the rest, are you having any issue with the platform or are we good? Are we fine? Teacher, in, in number two, I don't remember. I don't remember number because I don't, I don't understand uh, the, I prove um, I try, I try. I but no, no, it didn't work. Good. Yes. Okay, so it didn't work. Um, give me one sec. Let's give it a try. But, um, are we talking about the exam or are we talking about the regular exercise? Regular exercise, but okay. in, in exam is the same. Yes, yes, yes. But, you know, just to make sure, because sometimes they fix the exam, but they don't fix the other ones. Give me a moment. So we are talking about unit two, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's on okay, okay, okay. Unit two. And conditionals. Okay, yes. guys, los demás encontraron eh, the way how to solve it. Si los pudieron resolver. Did you get them? O todavía, you know, you're struggling with the same exercises. Uh, okay, so this is 2.14. Um, let's take a look. But in this so, one, you didn't have to write anything. I guess this is the one in which you were supposed yes. to write the sentences, right? Um, so it says here, read the conversation. Edward is a manager uh, from the quality department and uh, you're supposed to write uh, sentences using conditional number three. So type the complete sentence again. Um, so which of the, uh, okay, guys, uh, this is exercise 2.8, right? Uh, in which you have a little reading. Yeah. And at the end of the exercise, you're supposed to complete the third the sentences using conditional number three. So just remember the instruction says, type the complete sentence again. So if you just write the short answer, it is not gonna work. Um, now, ¿cuál de ellas es la que no le funciona? Which of them is not working? In my case, I don't understand what their conditional. I, oh, I write their conditional in uh, one sentence 
in, in the mm. first. Oh, okay. In, Creo que es lo que me no. mencionaba, right, about conditionals. Yeah. Okay, guys, eh, cuando hablamos de conditionals, solo hablamos de estructura. We are just talking about um, a structure here. So there are three conditionals. El zero conditional, right? Que le decimos if present, eh, present, para hablar de cosas reales. Eh, so this is conditional zero. Then we have conditional number one that is present. And then cualquier tipo de futuro, especialmente will, that is conditional number one. Conditional number two, that is if, past, y luego would or could, para hablar de cosas que, you know, no son reales. Um, and we have conditional number three, que es el que acabamos de revisar, que es if, past perfect, coma, would, que es el que se hace el más elaborado, uh, could, should, you know, Luego, present perfect. So, pretty much lo que vamos a hacer es solamente guiarnos por estructura. And we are going to be using conditional number three, que es esta parte de acá, right? So, hablamos de cosas que ya sucedieron. We are talking about things that happened already. Uh, y que pudieron haber sido diferentes. For example, number one says, if she uh, checked the stock market report, she not lose so much money, pretty much, ella ya lo hizo, ya perdió dinero, pero dice, si ella hubiera checado, si ella hubiera revisado el mercado de valores, ella no hubiera perdido dinero. So pretty much, conditional number three es para hablar de posibilidades in the past, or regrets, right? Ay, me arrepentí porque yo hubiera hecho esto. Si yo no hubiera ido medio dormida, yo no hubiera chocado. So we're talking about, ya no lo puedo cambiar, ya no lo puedo modificar, ya pasó, but I'm going to express regret o cambios que a mí me gustaría que hubieran sucedido. So pretty much es lo que vamos a utilizar over here. Um, in past perfect, remember that past perfect yes. es la combinación de have más el pasado participio. Dígame, Mr. Palma. I, I, I imagine if she, if she have checked Mm -hmm. Yes, vamos a escribir toda la oración. If she had checked the stock market reports, she... Uh, the, 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 the challenge is, is, is uh, to, uh, to, to know if, uh, if it is wool, cool, or sure. Mm, I have to, uh, I'll give you a clue oh, here. No. So I'll give oh. you a clue. Because el ejercicio is no dice, it doesn't give us much information, mm -hmm. pero uh, limitémoslo a wood. Intentamos solamente con wood right now. So, the FYI, first, se puede con the wood. Part, teacher, please. Yo intenté y no me lo, no me lo agarraba, teacher. Le no se lo agarró. No, yo es así la de esa intenté. Okay, guys, a todos no les funciona. It's not working for anybody. Uh, yes, teacher. It, it works. It works. El problema es que se vuelve a aparecer en el en el examen final también. Va, intentémoslo. It says if she had checked Check. the stock market reports, she would not. Lost so much money. Okay, bye. Probemos con la forma con. Have teacher. Uh, let me see. Did I miss it? Perfect. Ah, yes. I'm sorry. Okay. She wouldn't have lost. Hay un espacio extra. So much money. Okay. Probemos con la forma completa. Let's give it a try. Si no funciona, we can try with the apostrophe. Okay, it's not working. Mm -hmm. So now let's give it a try with the apostrophe. El problema es que yo no tengo acá, I don't have. You can copy and paste of customer is in the third sentence. Ahorita, sí, porque no tengo uh, mi teclado en inglés y no me va a agarrar la apostrophe. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna take it. So line number. Uh, oh, it's right here. Oh, but it's right here. 
Yes. So remember that la comita, you know, the apostrophe, eh, mm -hmm. cambia. Eh, si se fijan en su sí. teclado, lo pone como una línea. En, en algunos lleva como sí, una comita. Pues, so. No sé si mm, Most likely. Si no me sale. Most likely it's not going to work. Okay, wouldn't have lost. Give it a try here. And... Yes. So oh, yeah. So if you take a look, mm -hmm, you took it. So yeah, this is como el roundabout, right? Uh, so we are going to just go over like like a sort of workaround, guys. Si no les funciona the first one, it's copying, copying y peguen el apostrophe just as uh, Jorge mencionó, right? Lo pueden tomar de la lectura de arriba. Cos de lo contrario, el apostrophe, and, and menos a mí, in my, in my keyboard, el apóstrofe que me da es diferente. I'm going to show you. Esa es como una comita pequeña. But mi teclado has a different one. Y por eso es que no me lo va a tomar. So, Teacher. Uh, I have this one. Super diferente. Yes, miss. Could you show the answer? Just for take a picture. Because when I doing the exercise, I don't remember what is the structure that I have to use. If I can share, uh, if I can share the answer for this one. Yeah, in the down there is a bot button. It says Hello. show, show answer. Yes, pero es ah, que but <laughs> if I show you the answer. <laughs> no, solo, creo que solo la primera se puede. Solo para recordar la estructura. Mm, no sé, no, le voy a mostrar todo. And, and that is the ah. point. <laughs> Ah, yeah, no. pero, pero le comparto la respuesta acá en el... En el... Sí, ahorita lo vi. Yes, I shared Lo que pasa es que it. luego no recuerdo en cuál ejercicio es que tengo que usar cuál estructura y entonces... Mm, ok, sí, este es el condicional número 3. This is conditional number 3. Eh, acabo de borrar el apóstrofe, solo recuerden agregárselo, please. Yes, Mr. Alma. Que, eh, eh, yo tengo el libro acá y pues... No, aunque aquí me da la respuesta de la primera, nos ejemplifica, nos, nos ejemplifica así como usted lo ha, lo ha escrito correctamente ahí. No sé qué pasaba en mi plataforma porque... ¿No se lo tomaba? No, no me lo tomaba así, literal, así como lo tengo acá. Y a mí no me lo tomaba. Seguramente que... es el apóstrofe, porque lo mismo me pasó a mí. Ahora te dale ya copia el apóstrofe de, de arriba y, okay. y en efecto sí funciona, correcto. Sí, sí yo es le escribí que apóstrofe porque puede así ser. Le pongo en el libro. Sí, acuérdense después. que el ejercicio ya está como you know, computarizado. Entonces, un espacio de más que le agregue ya no se lo va a tomar correcto. correcto. Un espacio más que le deje después de la coma. So remember, guys, es coma, espacio. Si no le deja espacio, no se lo va a tomar. Yes, es más cuestión de... Pero de hecho nos ayuda para el momento de escribir. You know, escribimos correctamente. Tú, si hay una coma, si hay un puntito. Sometimes por el punto final que no le agreguen, ya se lo va a tomar incorrectamente. So, that's just FYI. Uh, let me know, guys, si todavía no les está eh, tomando el resto de ejercicios. Pero creería que con ese workaround funciona. Copien el apóstrofe arriba, lo pegan, and it should work. Si no, let me know en, en, si nadie se lo toma, con gusto les muestro las respuestas, aunque la idea no es tampoco esa, right? But if you have any question con algún ejercicio that is not taken, le pueden tomar captura and, y nos lo comparten y con gusto lo revisamos later. All right, guys, I'm sorry. Ya les robé mucho tiempo. I stole some of your time. Sorry about that. Thank you so much, guys. Si tienen dudas, eh, let me know tomorrow and we check it together, all right? Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Sleep super, super nicely. Sleep well. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow, guys. See you, see guys. You. Have a good night. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. See you. Teacher. Last sentence? Yes, Miss. This will be finished tomorrow. Uh, you need to? Yes. Yes, supposed to be for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. In the midterm. And yeah, that is correct. So you need to in the midterm. Teacher attended. No. Thank you, teacher. Mm, I, I took it. I'm already taking some pictures for attendance. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Claudia. Okay. Thank you. Yes, okay, I, I took a picture you. before. Bye. Thank you, thank you. Have a good night. Thank you.
Thank you, teacher. You're so welcome. Bye bye. Bye, guys. Bye. See you, see you.